Okay, so here's the situation that we were testing for our lab. What we wanted to do was we wanted to see how the mass and velocity were related when we suddenly changed the mass of a cart as it was traveling down the, the track. And so there were two ways we could do this. The first one was by actually dropping something on the cart and then seeing how its velocity changed. And, this changed. and the second one would be to take something off of the cart and then see if it would change. And so what we expected was if we, took, if we dropped something on the cart, the mass would increase, the velocity should decrease because they're proportional in that way. And what we actually ended up doing was because of those, it was difficult to drop things on the cart. Instead, we actually took a one kilogram weight on our track and put it on the track, and then we took a string and lifted it off with the hook as the thing was going down, expecting the cart to go faster. So using video physics, we recorded with the iPad our masses, which we knew, and our initial velocity, and then we looked for the final velocity. And so <clears throat> using the initial velocity we had, we can just use our conservation of momentum equation to figure out what, in a theoretical world, we would expect the final velocity to actually be. And so we did out the math, and we were actually extremely perplexed because what ended up happening was that our final velocity was not at all what we expected it to be, given the theoretical model that we should have. So we ended up with a theoretical velocity of over three and a half meters per second. But when we actually looked at, you know, what the camera actually told us, what we found was that our velocity was under one meter per second. And we were completely aware of the fact that there was potentially some friction on the track, which could impact the actual velocity. But when we think about the percentage change and the degree to which it changed the velocity according versus the theoretical and the actual, we knew that there had to be some other explanation for why it was that when we took off one kilogram, which was four fifths of the mass of the car and the thing together, the car basically didn't speed up whatsoever. So we hope you'll actually take some time and really just watch the video and watch what actually happened when we saw that the car really wasn't increasing. Because the total system had a mass of about 1,250 grams or so. And we took off 1,000 grams from the system and yet the car didn't speed up at all. So this was a bit of a puzzle to us. And we actually hope you'll take some time to stop here and actually think about why it was that the car just did not speed up when we took off so much, so much mass. Because our theoretical model and our laws of conservation really just told us that the car should have gone faster. So what's it? So this was extremely puzzling to us, and we were completely confused about why it was that the car wasn't speeding up. And what we actually found looking at the video was that the laws of momentum, it's not like the laws of momentum suddenly weren't true for our sending the car down the track. What we actually found was that momentum was conserved, but the way in which it was conserved wasn't what we were expecting. The way we had theoretically used our model was that the car and the weight would be one thing together. So their total mass would be one object. In reality, though, we actually need to look at two momentums in that, our picture. So when we look at the car going down the track, that was one object with a mass. And when we look at the weight, that actually turned out to be a separate object. And so when we saw that we lifted the weight and the car didn't speed up, we didn't take account of the fact of what would happen to the moment, momentum of the weight. And what really happened was when we expected the momentum to transfer to the car, it actually transferred to the weight. So when we look back at our video, we can actually see that when Josh lifts the weight off the car, the car stays at the same speed, but the weight actually swings forward because the weight actually has momentum that the car didn't get. And that's why the car essentially didn't change in its velocity. So what's the